Coming up today on Great Day Connecticut, it is Free Therapy Wednesday. Yeah! Dr. Laura Saunders is joining us to share science-based tips that can help us manage conflict in relationships. Interesting. And a quick and simple dinner idea for our recipe of the week. We're making delicious chicken pesto meatballs that come together in just minutes. Plus, bad summer people. Bad. We're diving into part one of our Great Day Connecticut book club pick to discuss the juicy details. We're making your day a great one starting right right now. now. You know what they say, hosts who track together stay together. Yeah, absolutely, and we track that we open in, together. We, it's a little secret behind the scenes. We're usually in separate audio booths at different times, but we were together. We were together like mm-hmm. shana na 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 kinikiti dick ba remember forever. All right, what, what, who are you? I'm Kara Sandler. I'm Scott Haney. Nice to see you. All right, we got good news if you're planning a road trip. Gas prices are going down, they say. Yeah, the average price nationwide for regular unleaded gas today is $3.45. That's down $0.08 cents from last week and $0.14 cents from this time last year. I'll That's take according it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. Energy experts say the decrease at the pump is due to lower oil prices and weaker demand for fuel. Mm-hmm. The Biden administration also releasing 1 million barrels of oil from the Northeast Reserve to ease. Are you all right there? Of hiccups. Oh, you got a hiccup? You want I'm to count to ten or want I'm me to scare you? I'm swallowing a hiccup, yeah. All right, very good. That, teach me to drink some seltzer water before the show. <laughs> so the difference between, I can go to Bishop's Corner and get gas? Yeah. Or I can go to BJ's. The difference is almost $1.50 per gallon. What? Yeah, you have to shop around. Wait, what? Yeah, it's like. From Bishop's f- Corner? That's where I $4.99 for a uh, high t- Oh, high you test. have to get the. I got to get the premium. So it's like $4.99 a gallon. Uh, over there, and then I go to BJ's, and it's close to four, well, <coughs> maybe like a dollar, dollar twenty-five difference. That's a lot, though. But per gallon, that is a lot. <coughs> That's okay. Mm-hmm. All right, you want me to scare you? Because no, I will scare I you. Just now. look at my face. You'll be scared. <laughs> I've already fixed her eyebrows. Oh, Oprah Winfrey is you. recovering after a stomach virus recently sent her to the emergency room. Thank you, Ernie. Winfrey's best friend and journalist, of course, Gail King, posted a video to her Instagram. In it, Winfrey told King she couldn't keep enough water down to keep hydrated, so she went to the hospital. Yeah. I mean, it can happen when you have a really bad stomach virus or food poisoning. She got IV hydration at the recommendation of her doctor. They say she's resting and feeling better every day, but she did miss a scheduled appearance on uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yesterday's episode of CBS club. Mornings. So she was going to reveal her book club what is in the a book sit club? down with King. Well, her pick now, if you're fami- if you're still curious, New York Times bestseller *Familiaris* by David Robluski. Robluski. Um, I don't know about it. But I can't pronounce either one of them. I don't know if I'd want to read the book. Well, you know, Oprah has an effect on books, so I think she a lot of people want to read it. <laughs> Did she pick Bad Summer People? Uh, I don't know that she's done that, but we've got, we picked Bad Summer People, and we're enjoying just a light, juicy, fun read. We're talking about that coming up. Book. Such a good book. But we could ask. Um, we could we can ask Lori about what she knows about familiaris. Okay, very good. Yeah, maybe All she All right, knows. he ate more hot dogs than anyone for 16 years, but Nathan's hot dog eating champion Joey Chestnut has been banned from the upcoming annual Fourth of July event due to his recent endorsement of Impossible Foods. Yeah, you know why? Why? Because he's it's vegan. Yeah, he's eating a different rival brand, and it's vegan. It's vegan. <laughs> so anyway, they're like, you're done. Uh, organizers say they've complied with his demands in the past. But they had to draw the line on allowing him to be endorsed by a different hot dog brand. Could you imagine eating all those hot dogs? He was reportedly paid $200,000 to appear at the Nathan's contest and offered a four-year, $1.2 million contract. But in a statement, Joey Chestnut is an American hero. Really? We would love nothing more than to have him at the Nathan's famous international hot dog eating contest. We hope he returns when he is not representing a rival brand. An American hero. I guess you're an American hero if you're going to eat a lot of hot dogs quickly. (laughs) Well, what a, the great American hero. Remember that song? Look at me. Remember that show? It was, it was such a good show. All right. Yeah, anyway, get your brooms ready. Warner Brothers announced a sequel to the beloved 1998 film Practical Magic, Care. I never saw it. I didn't either, so, but now I want to go see of it. Of course uh, I want to see it. Sandra Bullock, Nicole Kidman, I love both of them. Both of them. They're I love in them. talks to return for Practical Magic 2. The actresses are expected to produce the project. Wow, they're producing, too. The story follows two witch sisters who curse every man they love. That is terrible. (laughs) It's based on Alice Hoffman's 1995 novel of the same name. A release date for the sequel has not yet been announced. Favorite Nicole Kidman movie? Got one? Oh, gosh. Uh, Many, but, um, oh, 
I'm, I'm, well, right now I'm just thinking of the Big Little Lies. The, Big Little Lies. The, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's not a movie. Okay. That's that kind a show. Of movie, but, show I, but it's close enough. Yeah. To Die For. If you yes. haven't seen it, Yeah, To go, Die For is really good. Go see that movie. Yeah. It is the best. I love she, it. I love because she always, and then there was a recent psychological thriller that she just did um, um, on, as on streaming. And Sandra Bullock, favorite movie? Speed. When she's on the bus and they're trying to make the bus. It yeah, bus, that if one's they, good if too. If they stop the bus, it blows up. And then up. when she's the boxer. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good, too. All right. All right. Former Real Housewives of New York cast member Bethany Frankel is making her acting debut. I wonder if she's any good. She's going to be in the suspense film Danger in the Dorm, and Lifetime just dropped a trailer. Let's take a look. I can't leave the other girls here. Kathleen, don't do this. I'm not leaving. You are so eager to prove that you're not afraid. You can't just leave. This campus is not safe. It's best not to panic. I think why would we panic? Tougher, you're smarter, you have to be. If they're in danger, they deserve to know. There's a killer on campus. Wasn't it your department that said this was an isolated incident? I would have been there, I could have done something. Ooh. Okay, I there's no way I can watch this. And I have it's a daughter a, based on a real college. lifetimes drama. She's playing a mom trying to protect her daughter from a killer running loose on a college campus based on a true crime story written by Ann Rule. Danger in the Dorm premieres on Sunday on Lifetime. If you have teens or college kids and you never want to sleep, I guess you'll watch that. You will we'll watch it. Ted I'm not Bund watching I mean, it. Ted Bundy was oh, on college God, campuses. Good boss. Oh, oh God. God. Forget that. All right, a Nicole Kidman portrait. We're back to Nicole Kidman. Created by a fifth grader 24 years ago, has Crayola on the hunt to track the artist down. This is so cool. Apparently a they fifth create... fifth grader did this. They, yeah, that, which is really remarkable. Amazing. Yeah. It is amazing. So it's a colorful piece. It depicts the Big Little Lies actress. Um, and they want to reunite with the mystery artist who is behind this piece of art. Yeah, they said it's a, it's a Rachel from Temple, mm. the brand asked in its post. We want to return the 2000s art she made at Kennedy Powell Elementary. Who knows, maybe she lives in, in uh, Connecticut now. The colorful I mean, that artwork. that would be like 24 years ago, so she's, you know, fully, she's an, fully adult. an adult. Well, look how talented she was. I wonder if she became an artist. Unbelievable. Uh, it features Kidman appears to blend elements of pop art and mosaic styles. Uh, the piece featuring Kidman is just one of thousands included in Crayola's inaugural e efforts to reunite creators with their childhood creations. I think it's incredible. Wow, that's cool. That cool? A campaign for creativity. And they're going to be featuring um, in museums and galleries nationwide. Yeah, they've been doing it for over 40 years. That's incredible. Yeah, it really is good. It's a really good, a good boost for kid, kid, kid artists, a boost. All right, so what do you think about this? I this love is a it. talker. Just love it. I, I can't say I don't like it. You know, mm. a Midwestern restaurant igniting a huge conversation over a strict age policy. <laughs> Bliss Restaurant, a recently opened Caribbean restaurant in Missouri, announced a policy for its patronage that since has gone viral, the eatery revealed it has age restrictions for entry. Women must be 30 or over, well, and men must be 35 or older to dine. I think because men are less mature. I guess so. In a Facebook post, the restaurant went on to say, the policy creates a mature and relaxed atmosphere <laughs> for its guests and helps them to, quote, maintain a sophisticated environment, uphold our standards, and support the sustainability of our unique ambiance. So what if you're like a woman who's 32 and your husband's also 32? You're allowed in and he's not? What if you're 60 and dating someone significantly younger? No, that uh, that I understand, but like... The, no, vamoosh. Like, but the 30 to 35, like, <laughs> you can come in. But your you husband can. can. <laughs> I love it. All right. Toothbrushes, bottle caps, I mean, beach toys. It's, it, it's sad and it's beautiful at once, but it's really trying to make a way, a way uh, make us aware because these are larger than life sculptures on display at the New York Aquarium. Wow, they really of are incredible. Ocean trash. Are you looking at this? It's all garbage. It's all to save the sea. I mean, it's just so sad when you see those pictures, how there's the, like a the, toothbrush. There's like a plastic a island now where it's all coagulated and they're just trying to get it out of the water. Is it ever going to, like a toothbrush, will it ever disintegrate? Probably not. No, and it kills all the sea life. No, I it's mean, awful. you know, the, they, they empty, you know, when the whales wash up, they empty their stomachs and they're filled with plastic. But oh my anyway, God. this is, you can see this, and it might be a great way to teach your kids, and great that they turn trash into treasure, but it's on through September 2nd uh, in New York. All right, good. All right, what's coming up? We have a great show on the way for your Wednesday afternoon.